Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, again with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about toileting aids. So these come in a large variety, and so what I wanted to do today was to highlight several different types, who might choose which one, for what reason, and kind of some of the design features that you should know about when you go about selecting one for yourself or somebody else. So I have today um, four options that I'm going to discuss. They all have slightly different features. So I'm going to start with my one of my favorites, which is the Freedom Wand. So Freedom Wand was designed by an occupational therapist. Deb is fantastic, really good customer service. So if you have questions or comments, I'll make sure there's links down below for that. Um, the Freedom Wand was designed to be a really multifunctioning wiping aid. So not only is it a wiping aid, but can also hold things like a razor, and I've showed that in some other videos, um, as well as like a loofah or a lotion app. So it's a pretty versatile tool. It comes with this particular feature, which I think is really important. That is various extensions. These extensions allow you to make this the longest option for a wiping aid. And that's really important because some folks are going to be reaching from significantly farther away than others, whether that's because you're doing it from a laying or reclining position, or perhaps you have very, very limited shoulder um, movement this is going to accommodate you well let me show you how this one works so it's got the the little um, lever here which is designed to be very easy to function with i can push it with my hand i don't have to use my finger or thumb i can use my hand i can even use my forearm so if you struggle with dexterity this is going to be a decent option for you not going to one over here so when I open it up like this, you can see these little fingers. The toilet paper needs to be prepared just like this. So I have four squares folded in half twice to create a single square of a good amount of ply. And then I'm going to take the bottom of it and I'm going to create kind of a point. What, the, uh, De um, what Deb recommends actually is pre-making a bunch of these and having them in a bag next to your toilet so they're ready to go for when you need them. And one way you can do that is actually apply a small rubber band, like the little tiny hair tie rubber bands to the bottom, so it's already in the perfect position to then be inserted deep inside these little fingers, and that's when you're going to push down, and again, I can do it with just the palm of my hand or my finger, whatever's easier and you're gonna pull that down into the mechanism. Now, the way to test it is you're gonna hold it and pull like this. If it doesn't fall out, you are good to go. Now you can go about applying it to wipe. I have also added in another feature that you can add to this one, and that is a handle. So depending on whether you have low dexterity, this one has you covered there too, because I can now put my fit hand in here for added support. I can reach back from the front and apply this for wiping. One of the things to consider about this is it is a hard plastic end. The one population I have a little bit of pause about using this particular product for is individuals with low sensation on their bottoms. So individuals that may have had spinal cord injuries or any kind of um, neurological condition that maybe makes them low sensation, and that puts them at risk for wiping too aggressively and perhaps causing skin tears. So just be aware that because this is a hard edge, you need to make sure that you're monitoring to make sure that you're not wiping too aggressively because it could cause problems. All right, so then to release it, you simply press up on the mechanism and the toilet paper falls right out. Really convenient, there's no touching of the toilet paper, which is a nice, nice feature of this type of device. Um, it does need to be cleaned, which it has an opening here, as well as these pieces come apart for easy washing with soap and water. It comes completely apart and allows me to put it inside of a transport pouch. So even in its longest form, it still folds up relatively small and can be placed inside of a bag and then brought with you where you're going if you need to take it with you. So nice feature, that's the Freedom Wand. The next one I'm gonna show you is kind of a, this is, this is a design that's got a lot of different names because it's been made by a lot of different companies. This particular one I purchased because it's foldable. So it actually folds in half, which is really nice, again, for the reason of transporting it for using in public, or if you're going to somebody else's house, for example. Um, this one does fold in half, and again, you could place it in a pouch and bring it with you. Let me show you how this particular variety works. It's got a little opening here on this very sticky silicone end, and in that opening are kind of some little bumps or teeth. Um, you're gonna use a very similar amount of toilet paper here. I would again recommend around eight squares. Fold it in half. Let's see, I'm gonna show you how you fold this. So I've got eight squares folded in half, so four and four, then fold it in half again. So now I have two by two, and that seems to be a really good length to work for these. 
Now what you're going to need to do, and this takes a good amount of dexterity, so these are considerations when selecting the product. You're going to then insert one end into this little opening here, just kind of press it in there. Don't You don't close it or anything, it just stays in there because of the silicone grip. And then you're just going to wrap it around and tuck it in there again. You want to make sure it's in there pretty good, you don't want it flapping open. Now the end of this is fully covered. I can then go about, I have added um, a, a handle to this one, and this is an easy grip handle. It's made out of silicone, very, very hygienic and wipeable. So again, I can use this for low dexterity options. So I can put this on the hand, and then I can go about reaching back to do my um, wiping. This is not as long of a tool as the one I was just showing, so you're going to need to have more dexterity, more movement at the shoulder, a little bit more flexibility, or be a smaller stature in order to use this product. The head on it is a little bit wide, and I'll show you a comparison with another product in just a second, but that's an important consideration if you're somebody who really needs to be able to get into like the crevices and you're concerned about being able to get deeper into the, um, into the areas for hygiene. This is gonna be a little harder to do because it's just got a little fatter head on it, but it is a soft head, so you don't have to worry necessarily about causing skin tear, so that's good news. Okay, so let's release this guy. So to release this one, this is, this is probably my least favorite feature about it, but it can work. There's a button on the bottom here, and all I'm going to do is press on it, and it releases the toilet paper so I can just drop it off into the toilet or wastebasket wherever I'm placing it. Um, the button on these, it takes, some, it takes some force. You can press it against a thigh, or some people will press it against their hip, like that. Um, if they don't have the, they don't want to press it against their hand. But again, I'm having to hold on to this pretty firm to do it, so it takes some strength. So this is probably the one that requires the most strength to use effectively. Okay, let's talk about the Juvo. This is the Juvo. I love their products. I, I talk about their dressing sticks all the time. This is the Juvo. It comes with a head cover, which is a nice feature. However, it doesn't fold up. It's quite long. I do like the curvature of it. It has a nice angled design. You can see it's got a little bit more angle to it and a little bit more length than this one. And a kind of similar angle to the Freedom Wand. Okay, this one has a nice flat, which is a nice feature compared to this one. Let's see if I can see head to head. See how this one's, the Juvo's more narrow. So that's a better option for your, if you're somebody who needs to be able to get a little bit deeper into the crevices to make sure you're getting, you feel fully clean. I would recommend this style, kind of a more paddle shape. Okay, so this one opens up and there's two ways to open it. You can press on the end here like this and it will release and open up like that. Um, to close it again, you just squeeze this large handle. Pretty easy, it actually squeezes fairly easily. You can also open it by pushing up on this lever here, like that, and it releases. So you have two release options, thumb, full hand, which is nice again for dexterity considerations. Again, the old eight square folded twice, so now I have two square and they're, it's a couple ply thick. You're going to apply that in between the little grippers, like that. And I don't lock it yet, but I do kind of squeeze it so it kind of stays in place while I'm wrapping it around. Because then I can, oh, it did just lock. Because I do want to be able to wrap this around twice. So now it's in there. I've wrapped it around twice and reinserted it into there. And now I'm going to squeeze it. This is really on there good. It's not going anywhere. So this is probably the firmest hold. And because I'm wrapping it all the way around, you're really well covered, so you don't have to worry about getting too much onto the actual head of the device. Now from here, I can reach back and do my hygiene. You can come in from the front, you can come in from the back, wherever you're most comfortable. And again, when you're done, you simply release it with the press of the button. This one is a little bit tighter grip, so you gotta do a little bit of shaking to get it off, and you may have to even kind of start it with your hand and then release it into the toilet. Many people like to use a wet wipe or something like that with a toileting aid because the wet is going to work a little bit more efficiently. I have another suggestion that's a little bit more plumbing friendly, but maybe a little out of the box for some. This is a cool little device called a, an electric handheld bidet. So you've probably seen handheld bidets before um, for peri care. If you're in the hospital, sometimes they will hand these out, especially if you're a lady who's had children. Um, but this is a really cool device. It puts all, folds all together and then comes apart like this. 
you can position the head, this is the spray nozzle, in a different, couple of different angles. Um, and what you do, I'm gonna go over to the sink here, just to show you how it works. This is the reservoir. You would fill it with a little bit of water, and you can use warm water or cold water. This is your choice. I would recommend warm, be a little more comfortable. And then you put the reservoir back onto the device. You're going to position it with the spray nozzle underneath your backside, angled towards your bottom. And then I'm just gonna show you what the spray looks like. There's two buttons, high and low. It has a couple different spray abilities. And you can see, once I turn it, I'm getting spray out. So it'll, and I can turn it lower and I can turn it off. And that's all there is to it, single button pushes. And this is a nice way to be combined. Some people will use this alone to get themselves clean and that's fantastic. Some people will use this in conjunction with toilet paper to then dry and get any remaining um, soiled area clean. But this is a great way to get really clean without having to use a lot of extra wipes or an excessive amount of toilet paper and effort. So combining this with one of these or using this alone um, is a great way to kind of improve the efficiency of your wiping process. So there you have it. Four ways you can get yourself cleaned up after using the toilet without having to bend or reach as far as you would with just your hands. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and independent in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.